Hello everybody, this is John. Welcome to the Fat Hipster Channel in the year 2022. Today, for the first video of the year, um, for no real uh, special reason, I'm at McDonald's. Well, I'm not at McDonald's, I'm at my house. But I'm going to be eating McDonald's. But this is not any ordinary McDonald's. This is the international global menu McDonald's which uh, just so you uh, know where that is that is on 1035 West Randolph Street in Chicago Illinois area code 60607 anytime you want to figure out what is on the global menu just pull up your McDonald's app and just make sure you select that store um, no matter where you are in the world you can select any store um, and you can even order from any store it's just that they're not going to deliver it to you you'd have to pick it up so it would be ridiculous for you to make the order if you weren't going to actually be able to pick it up but nothing's stopping you from selecting that um, and set and going to make an order just to see the menu so at any time you could see what the new global uh, options are at the global international menu McDonald's in Chicago Illinois and if you look on there you will see the following chicken Big Mac which uh, it doesn't have a specific country attached to it it says it's a global option which um, I don't think I've ever seen it on the menu at any United States McDonald's so global minus the United States except for this one global location technically um, but I know currently it's being advertised in Australia as coming back for a limited time and I have that right here in front of me they also have the cheesy bacon supreme the cheesy bacon supreme um, all I have to look at are pictures of it um, it has some kind of like toasted cheese bun it has a burger, has bacon, has lettuce, and it looks like special sauce and pickles. But it looks like it has a patty of fried cheese, like fried cheese disc, kind of. It was not available uh, at the time, so I'm assuming they're currently out of those cheese patties. Because cheese patties were maybe the bun, because those are the two unique things um, on the Cheesy Bacon Supreme. They have one breakfast item. I didn't go there for breakfast, so I don't have this one. Also from Poland, the egg and mushroom Kaiser roll. And it's a breakfast sandwich. It has the circle egg, has a slice of cheese, has lettuce, mayonnaise, and grilled mushrooms. Again, don't have that one because it is a breakfast item. I didn't go for breakfast. The other item, which I do have, these are called garlic pepper crisp cut fries I have those and those are from China um, they are waffle style fries and they have a garlic pepper seasoning on them um, the other things there's some desserts they have a chocolate waffle cone sundae with Oreo I don't have that um, but I saw some people ordering it it's just a an Oreo waffle cone so it's a chocolate waffle cone and it looks like soft serve ice cream with then child syrup and more Oreo bits on top. They have three salads. Oh, and that one is from, uh, where is that from? I think this is like Sudan or something interesting like that. Um, let's see if it says. No. It was from Saudi Arabia or Sudan something like that was s and it's somewhere in like the mid eastern hemisphere area they have three salads all from sweden i didn't get them they were not available they're all hummus based salads it's where the hummus in sweden you think hummus and it's like more israel palestine kind of thing but it hummus salad a chicken hummus salad crispy and a chicken hummus salad grilled um, I'm guessing the hummus is what they don't have because that's the only unique thing 
on here. And then the last things that are from the bakery, they have two bakery items. They have a sprinkle donut, which is just a circle donut with pink frosting and sprinkles. And they also have the Boston cream donut, which I have here. It is much smaller than I had imagined, but it does smell freshly fried, like that fried donut smell. Um, so I have three items here that I'm going to try. The first thing I'm going to start out with is this, the chicken Big Mac. And I want to show you the chicken patty on this because it really looks like a giant chicken nugget. Is that what the regular McChicken patty is supposed to look like? Um, because that's what it kind of looks like that. It's really crispy though. Uh, there's no onions on it. That's besides the beef turning into chicken, there's also no onion on it. So those are the two big differences between a regular beef Big Mac and the chicken Big Mac. So let's give that a try. Here we go. The chicken Big Mac. Yeah, they're definitely not like any premium chicken patty. It definitely looks like a mechanically separated, reformulated chicken meat into a patty. It does have that chicken nugget crisp to it where it's like overly battered till it forms a nice crust. This is really popular in India and other more non-beef uh, eating areas of the world. It's an all right sandwich. Uh, I definitely prefer a beef Big Mac over this one. And to this day, my favorite Big Mac, I believe, is still the Grand Mac. The Grand Mac was the one that had the quarter pounder patties um, instead of the regular patties. The double Big Mac was also pretty good. Um, that one had the regular Big Mac patties, but two in each layer. Um, and I do think the Big Mac does uh, get better with a little bit more beefiness to it. The Big Mac sauce is always really good, but I think if it, it goes really good with a nice beefy flavor. And with two their small patties in there are just kind of not as great in my opinion um, but the chicken one it tastes fine um, would I clamor for it no would I order again probably not if someone gave me one would I eat it sure it's not it's not bad um, it's just if you're gonna get a Big Mac get a beef Big Mac it's better Next up, we have, they call this the Chris Cut, um, and it's with one S, Chris Cut, um, and no H, so it's not like a guy's name, Chris, it's C-R-I-S-C-U-T, one word, Chris Cut Fries. It's supposed to be garlic pepper. I don't really get a lot of garlicky smell to it. 
let's go ahead and hasten it. It is very crispy. Excuse me. There's definitely a seasoned fry quality to it. Kind of like an Arby's curly fry. This one, if you look like inside the ridges of the crisp cut, it's almost like they packed in the flavor in each one. And when you see that, you see like all that flavor packed into it, you think you're going to get this like really rich, flavorful flavor. Um, but it's not really that much. It's not bland by any means. You definitely taste that it is a seasoned fry. But I think like Arby's curly fries have a more strong peppery seasoning than this. I was really hoping for like a a strong black pepper hit. I think like if you look in here, the black pepper pieces are just so small. It's like that uh pre-packaged in the little white bag black peppers not like peppercorns in a mill cracking right on there where you still get like a scent so you get some chunks that are so big you can bite into it and like even release more flavor in your mouth this one doesn't have that like black pepper hit it tastes like black pepper that you have in a, a plastic shaker at a, a, a dining hall in college. The garlic also, I was hoping for like a garlic heat. I'm going to get fresh garlic. Usually when I cook with the garlic, it's all like you cook it up before and you get like a more mellow garlic. Um, but when it's like a seasoned fry, I want like that fresh garlic, fresh pepper right on top of it. You get that heat from the garlic, you get the, another kind of heat from the pepper. This doesn't have either. It tastes like a not as seasoned Arby's Curly. It is crunchy. There is some flavor to it. It's another th option that I'm thinking would I clamor to have that here in the States? No. Would I order it over regular McDonald's fries? Not a chance. The regular McDonald's fries are so great. These ones, not that great. Lastly, let's try this donut for dessert. Like I said, small donut. It fits like a quarter of the area of my hand. I could probably hold four of these in there. Um, I assume, because the where the pictures look, that the frosted one is a similar size. But, if we take size away from this, what does it taste like? This kind of looks like it could be like someone's hair, like a toupee, how it like quaffs over the edge there. Another thing, this is supposed to be a Boston cream. So, like, where is the hole? Is the hole on top? And they layer it with this frosting to cover that hole. Usually it's like in the side somewhere. Which kind of makes me think this is not made fresh and this was sent to them. But where would they send it from? Because this is the only place that sells it. Oh, and also this is from Canada. You know, Canadians love their donuts. Let's go try it out. There's that. Boston cream. Let's try some of the cream myself. It's light. It's definitely not a it's not like a rich, rich, heavy cream. Mm -hmm. 
It uh, has like a vanilla pudding flavor to it. It's like slightly translucent. I like my Boston cream donuts. The cream to me more custardy yellow. And this is like a pale white. The frosting on it kind of peels away like a, a hostess cupcake. The donut itself has that like slight oily flavor where it'll be fr you can tell this was a fried donut, not like a baked cake donut. I would say another miss. So, uh, these three international McDonald's options, none of them are anything that I would say we're missing out on. I know plenty of donut places way better than that. Arby's, you can get better seasoned fries than these ones. And the, the chicken Big Mac... Definitely not as good as a regular beef Big Mac. Anyway. Maybe the, the Poland Cheesy Bacon Supreme would have been better. But look it up. The bun, the bun looks like it's going to be disappointing. The bun kind of looks like it's going to be dry. There's too much bun in general. I don't know if... I can get a picture of that to show you. It is a. Uh, show me my phone here. That's the cheesy bacon extreme. Uh, yeah, the bun just looks kind of like it's dry. Anyway, that's the end of this video. The first one that I filmed, anyway, for 2022. I got a couple more good ones coming up and some ideas as well and uh yeah looking forward to another year as uh this is actually officially my s seventh completed year on youtube so uh, just completed lucky number seven um starting year eight on youtube and uh you know look at those subscriber numbers you would never guess that I've only been here for seven years because there's not a lot of you but I appreciate each one now make sure to view other ones and if you're viewing this and you have not put a thumbs up yet please do so and if you have not left a comment if you've been watching my videos for a while and you've never left a comment on any of them Leave a comment on this one. Um, just so we bring in the new year with a, a video that has a, a big ratio of watches to thumbs up and comments. So that way I can say, even if not a lot of people watch it, at least everyone who did watch it thumbs it up or and or left a comment. And I will reply to every one of those comments as long as it's not from a bot trying to sell things or make people click a link that goes to some type of virus or scam website those will be deleted anyway I'll see you on the next video I hope you had a good New Year's a good holiday season and looking forward 2022 let's get it started right now bye